Hi, my name is John Cinemont and I'm going to show you how to draw the interior. In this case, it's going to be a rocket or some sort of spaceship that's very boxy, very simple. Uh, you can see it has some wings and some massive fire, not realistic at all, and then a little cockpit on the top there. So I'm going to draw uh, the shape of this ship in a larger format so you can see the details better. And then I'm going to establish a vanishing point right there and draw all of the corners partially to the vanishing point, not all the way, just to establish how deep or how far back uh, this room or this vessel goes in space. And then I'm going to connect all of those orthogonals, those diagonal lines. You notice I'm using a translucent ruler, a transparent ruler. Very, very helpful for making straight lines, 90 degree angles. Okay, so all the lines are now connected. And now I'm going to separate it by floor. So there will be three floors total. There's the top floor, middle floor, and the bottom floor just is made up of the bottom level there. Okay, so now I'm going to divide each floor by randomly spaced rooms. Some of them will line up, uh, as you'll see, and some won't. But I just want to show you um, how each divider, each room looks from different angles. So now the fun begins. This is kind of like a puzzle. Oh, we'll draw a little elevator shaft right here too. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect each one of those walls, those dividers, with the vanishing point, but I have to stop at the back wall. So you can see that first one, I stopped, and then I'm going to connect it vertically up. So again, from the divider, and then up, right against the back wall there. So I will do that for each one, and then those are just little dashed lines show there's separate lines. Uh, the elevator shaft is going to be just partially back because it is just a, a cubic shape. So it doesn't go all the way to the back. It's like a square tunnel. And then I will connect that with a little bit of gaps because I know there will be floors and things uh, later. Okay, so now for the next level, just connecting. And you notice I didn't go all the way to the back because I realized I need to first establish how far back that goes. So now that wall with the divider, there's the ceiling. And I left some gaps because I anticipate another diagonal line going there. Now there's the floor. So I'm going to draw the floor all the way across, skipping some, there's a little gap at the end because I have to connect it to that divider. I know it looks kind of confusing right now, but it'll make sense soon. Okay, so vertical line for the other divider to the vanishing point and connect that with another vertical line along the back wall. So now we have four dividers and an elevator shaft. And now I'm going to make uh, that back wall behind the elevator connected. Okay, now for uh, the top, yeah, the top line there behind the elevator. And then for the top floor. So I need to connect that all the way on the left, that divider to the back wall, and then I need a vertical line along the back wall. There's another wall divider there. And then I'm going to connect to the vanishing point again to the back wall with a vertical line that matches up with the wall below it. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and shade all these lines, uh, these, these room dividers here, because just to make it stand out more. So you can see how all of these uh, walls bisect each room. And then there's another one with the line back to the back wall and then a vertical line. shading in these other two walls. Okay, so we have all of our walls. Um, now I'm going to draw doors for the elevator shaft. And so I should be using ruler here, but it's okay. Get the idea. So a door for each level along the elevator. All right, now for some sample furniture. I'm going to go ahead and draw a bed, and I'm going to draw the side of the bed first. So you're going to see just the, if you were to walk up to a bed, that's the side, just the rectangular side. And now I'm going to draw the corners. Every single corner should go to the vanishing point. And then a little pillow on top, and then I will finish off the drawing with another horizontal line. So there is a bed. I apologize for it being so small, but I can maybe do another video of furniture. So the, the couch, every corner, I'm going to connect to the vanishing point after drawing the couch from the side. 
and then I'm going to match up wherever that line started, I'm going to match it with the lines um, all around the edges there. Coffee table, I'm drawing it from the side again, and then connecting the corners that are visible to the vanishing point. And then capping it off with another horizontal line. And that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll have more soon. <laughs>